Hey YouTube, um, this is my first time posting a video. I've been watching a lot of YouTube and just seeing what other guys got out there and I thought, you know, hey, it's my time to contribute since I watch all you guys. Maybe I can help somebody somewhere, I don't know. But uh, I do a lot of um, extended, extended camping, extended hikes pretty far out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I like to go light, but I like not to go light, so I I guess I don't know. I go I go light, but I but I but I bring a lot of stuff. So um, I like to use a poncho for a tent, and I came up with this way. I devised this way to to just bring one piece of equipment and make a stove that can be inside of my tent to keep me warm because we're in a very wet climate. It could be sunny one day and raining the next, or sunny one day raining the next five minutes, and it's very cold at night especially during the winter, it gets cold. Um, you could use a rock if you wanted to, same, same system that I have. Uh, I'll tear it out of this bag and I'll start building it and I'll be right back at you. Tone. So uh, we decided instead of to, I usually use a cookie sheet. I just keep it in the back here of my backpack. We decided to just go with a rock just to show you that it can be done with a rock. Cookie sheet, easy to pack with you. You can use it for multiple things, but we're just gonna do it with a rock today. Um, so we found this rock down there. Yeah, it broke on us, but it'll still do what we need it to do. Uh, got a little shovel. If you don't have a shovel, you can use a stick. I wouldn't recommend using your knife. It's the only good knife you got. Uh, but I mean, you could. <laughs> so get our shovel out, and we're going to set up this tent. And I'm going to start building this thing. And after I get this tent set up, here's my tent. It's just a poncho with a couple tent stakes in there that I tie together in the middle. Kind of see them both off together. Holds the tent up properly pretty good. I've used it a lot of times. So uh, I guess I'll be back to you after that. All right, well here's the uh, poncho tent set up. You know, I'm sure more than one guy's done this online and I'm sure I've seen somebody do it. Uh, so I know that I'm going to be laying this way with my head out here. And I want my fireplace, or my stove, my wood stove, to be up by my head and off to the side so I can sleep on the other side and still be able to have wood and put it in over here. So right here is where I'm going to want to build it, in this area. So I can just get rid of this. Get rid of this, and right here is where I'm going to want to build it. There's more than one way you can do this. I've done it, at least. Uh, you can build it right on top of the ground by bringing extra dirt over, or you can just dig into the ground and do it. When I first experimented, I tried using green branches for the top, and it didn't take but four hours before those things burnt through and just crushed itself out and smoked my tent out. It was a fun experience. <laughs> so, uh, and on the rock thing, um, river bar rock, you gotta watch out if you're by a river or a creek. Some of those rocks will have pores in them or cracks and hold water, and when they heat up, they explode, like letting a little mini grenade off in your campsite. <laughs> so, I'm gonna clean this off a little bit. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna bring dirt from over here, over to here, just because I don't, I don't wanna dig down. It's actually, lets more heat off, you get more heat, if you're not down in the ground, you're above the ground with this because then the heat can just shoot out here. In the ground, you got to dig down, you lose space inside your tent, and the heat it tends to hit the ground and soak up into the ground before it gets off into your tent. So, I'm going to start digging over here and get a little pile of dirt right here before I start Daddy's constructing this, and I'll show you what it is. What I did here is I just dug down a little bit so I didn't have to get so much dirt. I got a pile of dirt there. You don't need that much dirt. You just you I guess, as big as you want it to be. You can get as much dirt as you want. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start constructing some walls out of this dirt on the sides here. And at a, uh, kind of at a tapered angle, so it's bigger in the back than it is in the front. So when I have my fire in here, the smoke comes up. It doesn't want to pour into my tent. It wants to pour out the back side, which I'll make like a, a chimney spot for it for the smoke to pour out so I'm not getting smoked out inside my tent. So I'm gonna start building these walls here. 
and we'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. Let's go, buddy. I'll show you what we got going on here. We got, we dug out a hole here, a little bit, piled it up on the sides here. I don't know if you can tell that it's actually, there we go. It's kind of at an angle sloping down here. When I place my rock on top, fire smoke should rise up. So we're gonna put our rock on there. We actually had to find a, a better rock. A broken rock we had really wasn't working too great. So place our rock right on top like this. And then we're gonna to wanna to get some more dirt around the edges to seal it up. Seal up all the little cracks that you find in it. No smoke will escape there. At least that's the plan. All along the sides. Was it your plan to uh, make it where the back has a hole too? The back does have a hole. Oh, was it a plan to do that? Yes. Okay. Chimney. Oh. So we got all those sealed up. We got a hole there. We could use this other piece of rock. You could place it up here like this. So less, just less big, not such a big hole. Battery's always dead. Yeah, okay, we got battery problems, so we'll turn off and we'll. Shut up. What we want to do is build fire, not in there, because that's it's pretty hard. You build an out, a fire outside, and then wait until your coals are nice and you can move them inside of here and then you can actually get a good fire going on the inside of here once you bring coals from your external fire to this fire. So I'm gonna build the fire and then we'll move it in there and I'll show you how. All right now uh, we got our fire which actually took quite a bit of work because I don't know if you could tell but everything is soaking wet out here. Um, I'm gonna move the coals from here into our stove over here which we had completed. I used my ax saw Got a little bit of uh, wood piled up here. Of course, for a night you'd want better pieces than just these little reheating pieces. So I'm gonna move this from here. We're running out of battery time, so we're gonna turn it off while I do that, and then I'll put it together and show you how it works. All right, so here's what we got when I get completely done here. Get rid of these legs. Bring it in closer here. So here's our fireplace, smoke pouring out of this side, put a hole in the side of it here, ventilation, then you come in here, here's the inside of the tent, or inside of what would be a tent for me. Just got this thing sitting here for now, but there we go. You can feel heat coming out of it. Obviously, the more raging of a fire you get, the more heat you'll have. See, it's leaking smoke over here on this side. It's just sucking it right in there. No smoke in the tent whatsoever. So that'd be it. Bigger you build it. The more wood you throw on it, the warmer you can get the inside of the tent. Yeah, I realize it. This here, obviously, ain't helping keep heat in, but when I actually fold the tent all the way up. Here, buddy, hold this. And actually put the tent all the way down the way I use it. When I'm in there, I pull these things all the way out and lay them all the way down. Like so. Thing gets all the way down to the ground. And that's it. So, that there is my poncho tent stove, or any tent that obviously does.